Cheers, Keith. Thanks for your time. Damn it! What? It's pretty much as we feared, John. Yeah? Only a whole heap worse. Suppose you start from the beginning. Not much to say. It seems that... <laughs> seems that 20 minutes ago, our time, Derwent Enterprises went into liquidation. What? Keith called a couple of hours ago from Helsinki. But that was Keith just now, surely? Yeah, just now, our time. But he called a couple of hours ago his time. <laughs> and he called to say that Derwent had gone under. That's right. Damn! Damn it to damnation! Damn double damn and an extra slice of double damn! <laughs> Who else knows this? Well, it's gonna be all around town before you can say hell, triple blast, and damn it to Hades twice. Hell, triple blast, and damn it to Hades... <laughs> yep. Derek knows. <laughs> damn it! Christ, if they pull on their options, it doesn't bear thinking about this whole health club could go belly up. Right. I want to know who's behind them. I want to know who's pulling the strings. I want to know what in hell's name is going on. Damn it, John, I do believe you're scared. You're damn right I'm scared. <laughs> I sense Marjorie's hand in this. Marjorie? I never told you this, Peter, but after Marjorie left me, I settled a block of shares on her and the boy. Shares in the health club? Were you one of your goddamn mind? In the club? No. No, I knew I couldn't trust her there, but I gave her shares in DTEC. And you think? Think? I don't think anything. There isn't time to think. There's only time to act. <laughs> but is Marjorie really capable of pulling a scrimshaw trick like this? Well, Marjorie would float her own grandmother as a holding corporation and strip her bear of preference stock if she thought it would hurt me. Three pints of damn and a chaser of hell blast. What about the boy, John? The boy is Dennis, Peter. <laughs> no, no, what about the boy, John? You leave the boy out of this, he's just a boy. You know, it's something I've always wondered, John. Yeah? How the boy ended up living with Marjorie after the divorce. The court ruled that I was violent and unstable. An unfit father. <laughs> well, that's a damn joke, John. If they could have seen how you've parented this company. Yeah, well, Marjorie told them a story about how one night I'd been working late, I came home, and I sensed in Marjorie's eyes and voice a, a sneering, a mocking, I don't know. I, I suppose I must have flipped. I, I emptied a bowl of trifle all over her. <laughs> so, she got custody. Very. <laughs> John, I must have hurt not being able to watch Dennis grow up. Hurt? No. No, the boy means nothing to me now. Oh, yeah, Tom? Oh, yeah? So how come every year on his birthday you, you take him down to London to see Phantom of the Opera? I do that because I hate him. <laughs> Fair enough. But I give Marjorie due warning this day. If she wants a fight, then by us she's going to get one. And the prize, John? It's as big as they get, Peter. The entire leisure market in the Utoxeter catchment area goes to the women. No strings attached. Why can't you leave me alone? John, what was it you once said to me about perspective? I seem to remember asking how it was spelt. <laughs> no, 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 after that. What are you trying to say to me, Peter? I'm, I'm saying... I'm saying, damn it, I'm here. Marjorie's, well, 150 miles away her time, and, well, if you and I, we can't fight this bastard son of a mongrel hellcat bitch, well, then we aren't the team who weathered the tidyman's crisis and came up smelling of roses, that's what I'm saying. Damn it, Peter, you're right. <laughs> Call Ipswich now your time and tell them the Derwent Enterprises or no Derwent Enterprises, this health club is in business and stays in business. And if Marjorie should call, John? Marjorie? Never heard of her. Damn it, John, I love it when you're flying. Right, Sarah, get in a pot of hot, strong coffee and a dozen memo pads. <laughs> right, let's get the hell out of here before they arrive. Damn! Damn! 